Erush, Imush, Thimshur. Thresher has created Egaf Zereth, a tetrahedrate mechanism. So I left off last episode with that happening, and it happened. What the hell am I looking at? Uh, I keep forgetting it's no longer the same. Uh, so you go to um, this was, we looked at this when that was made. Uh, jungle Desert. I'm not sure if you can get that much more different than those two things. This is a tetrahedrate mechanisms, you know, because who cares about grammar? All craft worship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with fungi wood and encircled with bands of oval tetrahedrate cabochon. Cushion obsidian and cushion cut black zircons, even though they started as pear cut. It's too bad it wasn't quite smart enough to put those two things together. Dude, are you ever... What is your actual... See, you don't look like you're doing that badly. <coughs> Excuse me. I shall name you Jungle Desert. That was satisfying. Very good. Can I... Sl that doesn't help. All right. Feel satisfied after creating an artifact. Afraid, hopeless, satisfied, annoyed, 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 satisfied, satisfied. It's not so bad. <sighs> Like satin spar, silver, sapphire slabs, sheep for their ten tendency to flock, lizards for their beauty, words of the fate of burials, oh, so a book, the sound of the zirconian copper, is that a legendary instrument? And the sight of the flowery pregnancy, which we've heard about in the previous episode. When possible, he prefers to consume guppy and tomatillo wine together. Uh, absolutely detests verms. Let's see. Gosh, there's a lot these days. The cook kicks the giant bat in the left upper arm with her right foot, grabs the cook by the left or lower arm, throws the cook by the left lower arm. Bat releases the grip. Cook slams into an obstacle, bite uh, lower body, kicks the giant bat. Giant bat grabs the cook. Unable to break the, uh, the grip, the giant bat's lep... <sighs> I can't even read. <laughs> Giant bat charges, collides with the cook. Cook is knocked over. Cook kicks the giant bat. See, this does this. How long ago was this? The thing is, I I think Z health. Somebody wasn't in good shape. What does D mean? Diagnosis request. Edzel. I don't even have anywhere for this to be done, so I think I should deal with this soon. Others, 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 others. Do we have a giant bat still? We do. Hmm. The game is still... Hold on. Still flipping back and forth between fast and slow, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Right now it's on a little on the slow side, but the way the recording goes, it kind of doesn't mess with you guys a whole lot. Uh, others, though. Look at this. Troll, troll. Two cage trolls now. Not sure what I'm going to do with them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There was somebody out here. That's what sparked the whole thing. Right hand is missing, and he's pale. Shore asked, were you the one I was just looking at? Shore asked, yes. So in the process, Shore asked lost the hand. That stinks. Hmm. I'm going to have to... Nope, back up here. Thank you. There's some spaces in here that could be used for this process. Uh, let's just say here. Container, yes, that's kind of... That'll help. And... Gabbro, since I only have one. BT. That should help a little bit. Das site. Uh, can I make... Wait a minute. Yes, yes, no. I don't have the traction bench, but make traction bench. One of those. Make, a, oh, I need a couple of beds. Bed. Two. So it'll be a little while, but maybe at least this person can be patched up before they die. Oh! Gosh, they're, are they climbing the walls? I'm just... Oh, gosh, do we have an injury? We have an injury. Dang it. What happened to you? Which one are you? Dang it, they got him. All I wanted was to get rid of this stupid, horrible bat. Ah, oh, the slowness. There's got to be a pathing problem with my design. Something that's... I didn't do that much. I'm not. I'm just not sure. God damn, I lost one. 
I suppose that's part of having fun, isn't it? Uh, Buffalo Bolt. <laughs> Buffalo Bolt. All right. Gosh, I didn't even realize there was a another whole second fight going on over here. Come on, guys. Help. Oh, this slowness is driving me nuts. This is There's definitely an issue. Oh, good. They got him. Look at that. I think I've got <clears throat> my speed back. BX. Floodgate, please. Thank you. All right. So, yeah. Lots of progress up front. I may even survive. That would be crazy, but I might survive. But I got my speed back. I'm not sure what changed. Let's, uh... I'm wondering if it was trying to get things up here, but no, see, there's still plenty of materials, so it's not that they were trying to pathfind their way up into these uh, catacombs or anything. That wasn't it. I wonder what it was. Some, somebody here was trying really hard to do something. And it was really slowing things down, and they just stopped. Okay, we have a forgotten beast. Nunori Old B. The Cavern of Shadows, interesting. I did, does it normally give their names like that? I actually don't remember it being like that. Let's take a look, though. A gigantic blob conserve, uh, composed of snow. It has a round shell, and it appears to be emaciated. So maybe... This thing will be a pushover, or maybe it will just friggin' melt, but I got a guy out there who's, uh, man, they haven't, they haven't picked up Stukos yet? Come on! Uh, whoa, it shoots things! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, farmer jumps away, the, the Forgotten Beast breeds a glob of the Cavern of Shadows Forgotten Beast Extract. Oh, gosh. My guys have shields and stuff. Oh, he's going up. Ah! Oh, good. Oh, good. They got him. Well, four times the fun. We now have four dead. All of these... Oh, I thought for a second they had the same name. Uh, all of these died of thirst. While waiting... Actually, I mean, they were being treated. They just... There was no water. There's no water to give them. So basically, nobody here can afford to be injured. Uh, one of these already belongs to... Yeah, Stukos hasn't been brought up yet. I had prepared to build a second... thing. I don't see that anybody's doing it. Let's make two more. Coffin of Obsidian and Coffin of Obsidian. What a surprise. What a surprise! That literally moments... After three people in the hospital died of thirst, sorry, dwarves, I found water. And adamantine, and adamantine, or adamantium. Gosh, he, even the cat mourns the passing, the unnecessary passing of dwarfs. Ah, gosh. Oh, look at that. That is nuts. That is great. I mean, that sucks, but that's great. Right over the water. Even the cat, the mournful cat, appreciates the irony, ironical, ironic, no. Um, gosh. Cat. It does say in the credits that he provides additional commentary. Also, there's people having a party or something down at the end of the hallway. It's driving him nuts. He wants to be outside. Outside being the hallway. But no, I'm sorry, cat. That cannot be. So I guess... We'll just do this. It will be... It'll be... It'll be... Water. This just flew by on my screen a minute ago. Where'd it go? Up, 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 up. Uh, aside from lots of stuff. Shorast Kadol Sanreb has created a masterpiece Bayberry Wine Taco. Can we look at that? Where would this taco be? Oh, look at all this stuff. Bayberry Wine Taco, worth 3000 
This is a stack of 19 masterfully prepared Bayberry wine taco. <laughs> Not tacos, taco. Created by Shorest Kedal Sanreb. The ingredients are exceptionally minced crundle meat. Not bad. Uh, exceptionally minced quinoa beer. Uh, exceptionally minced blackberry wine. And exceptionally minced Bayberry wine. I don't think I want them using wine. Or beer. In... Food recipes. Can I tell them not to do that? Kitchen. Drinks. Do not cook. Okay. How do I turn that off? Toggle brew, toggle cook. Okay. Good. Brew. Good. Okay, good. Because I want to keep that for drinking. Iriat Lisidza. Same name, I think, is the queen. Taken by Fey Mood. What kind are you? You're a... You're probably going straight for, let's just follow, straight for um, Craft Dwarf. Which probably means all of these slabs I'm asking to be made are about to be cancelled. Yes, of course. Of course. Alright, well, what do you... What do you want? Marble Memorial to Stukos. Really? Memorial? Oh, wait, I asked them to make that. <laughs> I was like, I thought they were making that out of figurines for a second. This is a superior quality marble memorial to Stukos Zunterushtuth. I think I even said that right. The slab reads in memory of Stukos, born 149, bled to death, slain by the giant bat bandit match in the year 208, united with mule parchment. It is stuff like this that makes things particularly interesting. A giant mole bone door. So let's see. Hello. Bandit... Kisses the enchanted wine. Let's see. Not worth a lot. Eh. Still, it'll make the queen happier. Can I just put a random door? No, I have to have an adjacent wall. Okay. Uh, maybe... I don't know. I'll tear one of these down and put it up. It's weird, but these are temporary quarters anyways. And anything to keep her from going insane in the meantime would be appreciated. Gosh, they still haven't put any of these people out, or in, for that matter. B. I th also made some slabs. One of them was for Edzul, I know that much. I also made slabs for some of the supposed bad guys, too. We'll see. Uh, oh. Diagnose patient. We got another patient? Now what? Are you an actual patient or not? That's all I need is for someone else to go... Well, now I should be able to get water, actually, so maybe that won't be a, as big a deal as it used to be. Well, finally have a well. Everybody went to drink all at once. And now... I've got more migrants. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know if they know where they're coming from. Oh, well. Seeing as I don't have Dwarf Therapist, I will, uh, oh crap, dehydrated. Well, I, I won't um, bother you with checking these guys out, but we'll see how many come. So the Ghostly Mason has been put to rest, that's finally. Uh, crap, I went to the wrong one. <laughs> Should put them in order or something. There we go. There's... Two more. I don't know what took them so long to get around to dealing with it, but... Who... Oh, this one hasn't been assigned yet. Hugh Mangs! Hugh Mangs are here. They are coming. Let's do this. Lots of meat. Lots of meat pots, digging implements, weapons. Uh, not very well-crafted ones, though. The basic of the... Bimo most basic of basic, whatever. Cut gems, yes. Keep the bars, keep the sand, the box. Hmm. We got some old junk, so let's get rid of some of the old junk. Hmm. Finished goods, handware, blah, blah, blah. Troglodytes up the yin yang. I really want to be able to sell these. I think the giant ulm is trained, by the way. Uh, if it's not, it's a different one. I also now have a second crocodile. It's, it's like they funnel themselves right through. Which probably is exactly what they're doing. Lots of flour, that's good. Tools. Trolls. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to sell these troglodytes. And now, a possession by Solon Atesh... Uh, sorry. Atekshem. Atekshem? 
Where are you going? You're probably going to take a... A leatherworks? Really? No, clothier shop. Which is not good, come to think of it. What do you want? Because you haven't moved. Cloth. 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 Apparently that's all they want, which I suspect means, like... Oh gosh, I bet it means... Silk. Silk is a problem. Maybe there's some down there. Maybe there's some that can be had. Oh, good. That's what I was hoping would. I could sell off all this old clothing. All this half-destroyed stuff. All right, I got rid of those. Now I'm going to dispense with the cheap stuff, the cheap gems. I don't know. Do 50s count? I think I'll keep around the 50s. Just the tens and some of this rat bone stuff like these, the uh, totems, yeah, all this stuff can go. All right, guess the thing now to find out is if there's anything else in here I want. I definitely want all the leather. Not that there's much, but again, they have they have no silk. I haven't yet left the trading screen, so I don't know if the wool or cloth that I did get are among the things he wants. If it's silk, I could be screwed. But leather, I can work into armors and bags and stuff like that. I, I suppose I could the cloth too, but I just like the leather better for some reason. Let's see. Seeds, dye, sand. Let's get some sand. Sand, flour. Sure, why not? Flour, flour. Oh, those are expensive. Never mind that. Hmm. Bag. Flour. Sand. I want sand because I don't have any of my own. And I do like to have some glass stuff around, especially in the presence of uh, magma. Copper ages, copper. I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much... You can see all the stuff I got rid of here. All right. Uh, wait a minute. River spirits. Might as well have some brew. Nutwood barrel up here. Brew. Alpaca. All right. I'll just hit them up for, or with, a few gems to placate, and that should be it. Oh, good. This must have just happened. Uh, oh, that's fine. Mayor, of course, because we need the complications. <clears throat> now look at my uh, animals list. I now have, oh, gosh, add a large rat to the mix. But now we have a semi-wild uh, jabberer. I've... Uh, Disposed of a few creatures as well. I'm just hold on a minute. Troll, look at all these. I'm gonna have to do something. Semi wild, not quite. Troglodyte baby, nice. Oh, and just like that, I've got more migrants. More migrants, because why wouldn't I? <sighs> Let's see. We got 71 now out of an original. It was more than 11. It was like 18. I forget. We I showed it to you guys in an earlier episode, but, you know, I don't have any need for memory myself. I've got computers. <sighs> Let's see. And, uh, because, again, I do not have dwarf therapist, I will do this in private, <laughs> and we will focus in on people of interest when they become interesting. Let's see. And then after, after that latest wave, 75. So probably another 8 total. Ah, uh, I think that's it. Gosh, it looks friggin' lush out here. Look at all this. I don't think I have to worry about food so much. Oh my gosh, look at all this. <laughs> oh, who we got here? We got, uh, we don't need no stinking horses around here. <sighs> Turkey hens, though. Let's see. What was I gonna do next? They're still working on this. The, the ducts, the magma ducts, are taking a lot longer than I thought. Hmm. Hmm. Do we have any? Oh gosh, we got so many of everything. Flesh ball, trogs, most of them captured. I wonder if it, it would be interesting if there were a point where it's saturated. You had so many things captured that they couldn't spawn anymore, but apparently that will not be the case. Look at all those. Now, my guy is still up here, but I do notice the second loom now has somebody collecting threads, so where that's in progress as we speak. Can they do it fast enough? Which, where are they going? Oh, they're going down. Okay, so how far do they have to go? 
You can do it. You can do it. Come on, come on. Ignore the troglodytes. There's... Uh, that looked like some, but... Oh, good. Please make it back up before the guy flips out. It has been a while, actually. What happened? Jabber has reverted to a wild state. Well, you know, that there are worse things that could happen, especially while he's still in a cage. Well, I didn't see the message, but there he is. Wandering melancholy. So I wasn't able to get the soak in time. Which probably now means there are two people collecting soak because there are two such facilities open. Oi! Wait, they're back. Hyena! Wait a minute. Was it a hyena last time? Black with black spots. Skin is cinnamon. Eyes are orange. Person with head marks. A necromancer, I believe. Oh, gosh, there are three of them. Human, Zir, a badger man, and a hyena man. And I don't think any of them can be reached by me. They're probably running. Yeah, they're running. Yeah, they're gone. Oi. Ah. Well, in the meantime, I'm trying to clean out the ducts, get them going. Got the far ends at least well enough for now. I'm actually starting to make a pit over here for to make the... Uh, so I was using Gabbro. The um, entrances something of a defense mechanism rather than just a blocking. It, it's also... Uh, well, I mean, pull the drawbridge and they can't get through. That's fine, but this means I can turn them into a weapon is what I'm getting at. Drop things down. I realize it's really high tech, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Jeez. Among which is getting rid of all these Goram troglodytes. That's just crazy. How are they coming along? This may be close to... Oh, I need to do these as well. I forgot. I'll take out these traps as soon as this is done, but I couldn't reach the far side. No, it looks like it's smooth all the way up and down, so actually this is getting pretty close. The one thing I've been doing is filling these, uh, or making, giving a consistent wall, which couldn't be done to some extent. And I'm going to have to clear this out soon as well. Get rid of this right here. I guess the trouble will be remembering where the wall pieces are. Alright, one last clip out of a great many very short clips for this episode for some reason. Been a very busy one, just not a lot, not huge in terms of events, I guess. Aside from Necromancer showing up again. But <clears throat> Weaver finally has passed on after long wandering the halls and outdoors. Never could quite snap out of it. But then at the same time, Dwarves of the First Watch now know a few facts about Jabber training because the damn thing keeps going back to a wild state. So let's take a kind of a look at progress. We got this thing that looks like some sort of sword out of Final Fantasy going on here. Uh, oh, there the traders go. In case I didn't mention it or it wasn't a different clip, traders came and went. I didn't give them much because I didn't want to. Uh, let's see, there you go. Over the bridges. That's part of what we have accomplished today. I'm still working on these ducks. I probably should have left the walls all one color. Or, or the, their natural color, because I find this somewhat disruptive a thing to look at. But, you know, if I ever had to, like, lose the fort and then come back to reclaim it, one of the things is the stuff behind these walls would disappear. It would look nicer and be a uniform color. But, you know, it's a weird thing to bank on, frankly. Uh, let's see, it goes up a long way. Oh, I'm building these offices immediately above that, because I just built this... Um, bridge here under which somebody is stuck so let's see oh maybe it's already done a pull lever let that guy out come on there we go without the other side of the screen i can't tell if it's paused or not very easily anyways oh and someone fell out get out there you go now i gotta keep people from passing over it as the bridge comes back anyways it's been long enough. Um, we're still alive after like six, seven episodes. <coughs> I don't know. There you go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here's the top. I haven't gotten very far here. Actually, I did remove all these things so that I could then. Well, 
I removed the bits where it crossed over the same texture. It's like a waste of materials to do that. So that way, at least I can complete that. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the floor yet, but you know, towers and all. Yeah. I got a bunch of these. Let's see. Take a look at these. Uh, I think you've seen this one. We can zoom back in now. And actually, we saw that one. But we'll take a look again. Tide of Thirst. Oh, so no. Lover of the Fate of Burials. This is the one you guys saw. United with Mule Parchment. And the color puce made her happy. Tide of Thirst. There'll be a few more of those, actually. Um, Konos the Farmer. In fact, actually, I thought I had put them in, but apparently not. I don't want them turning into ghosts. So, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Come again next time, damn it. Yeah.